Welcome back to the final webinar of Chapter 3, Misconduct by Notaries Public or Others Relating to Notarial Acts, Parts D, E, F, and G. Expectations for this webinar, your final webinar. Chapter 3, Misconduct by Notaries Public or Others Relating to Notarial Acts will cover civil penalties, felonies or possible felonies, misdemeanors or possible misdemeanors, and infractions by notaries public. Part D will cover civil penalties. Section 1, $1,500 penalties imposed by California Secretary of State on notary public. In general, the civil penalty typically assessed by the California Secretary of State is up to $1,500 per violation for notarial misconduct. These penalties may be in addition to denial of an application or suspension or revocation of the notary public's commission. The penalties of up to $1,500 may apply in the following circumstances. The use of false or misleading advertising wherein the notary public has represented that he or she has duties, rights, or privileges that he or she does not possess. Commission of an act involving dishonesty, fraud, or deceit with the intent to substantially benefit the notary public or another or substantially injure another and the execution of a certificate as a notary public containing a statement known to the notary public to be false. Violating the prohibition against notary public who holds himself or herself out as an immigration specialist or a consultant advertising that he or she is a notary public or violating the restrictions on charging to assist in the completion of immigration forms and violating the restrictions on advertising, notarial services in a language other than English, or literally translating the words notary public into Spanish, willfully failing to discharge fully and faithfully any of the duties or responsibilities required of a notary public. A separate provision of the law prohibits local and state prosecutors to recover up to $1,500 in a civil action from violators of the provisions relating to the unauthorized manufacturer, duplication, or sale of the notary public seal and related offenses, including a failure to notify the California Secretary of State that a notary public seal is lost, stolen, destroyed, or damaged. Section 2 covers $750 penalties imposed by the California Secretary of State on notaries public. The California Secretary of State may levy penalties of up to $750 for other notarial misconduct, and these two could also result in either denial of an application or revocation or suspension of a commission charging more than the maximum fees for notarial services, failing to complete the acknowledgement at the time the notary public's signature and seal are affixed to the document, failing to administer the oath or affirmation, and negligently failing to discharge fully and faithfully any of the duties or responsibilities required of a notary public. Negligent violations would include, but are not limited to, failing to maintain the notary public journal as required by law, taking improper identification, and failing to provide information to the California Secretary of State within 30 days of a written request. Other Substantial Civil Penalties Several substantial civil penalties are possible if a notary public fails to either provide his or her notary public journal to a peace officer when requested to do so, or to obtain the thumbprint in the notary public's journal as required by the California Government Code Section 8206. 
The failure to provide the journal to a peace officer is also grounds for denial of an application or revocation or suspension of a notary public commission. The failure to obtain a required thumbprint is also a violation of a notary public's duties and is a ground for denial of an application or revocation or suspension of the notary public's commission. The civil penalty for either notarial failure is up to $2,500. The failure to provide the journal to a peace officer must be willful. In both cases, either California Secretary of State or a public prosecutor may seek the civil monetary penalty. Notary public may be subject to a civil penalty not to exceed $10,000 in two situations. First, if a notary public fails to obtain the satisfactory evidence required to establish the identity of a credible witness, the California Secretary of State or a pro public prosecutor may seek a penalty of up to $10,000. Second, if the notary public willfully states as true a material fact that the notary public knows is false in a certificate of acknowledgement, the California Secretary of State or a public prosecutor may seek a civil penalty of up to Felonies or possible felonies, frauds relating to deed of trust in a single family residence. A notary public who knowingly and willfully with intent to defraud performs any notarial act in relation to a deed of trust on real property consisting of a single family residence containing not more than four dwelling units with knowledge that the deed of trust contains any false statements or is forged in whole or in part is guilty of a felony. Unlawful acts by one not a notary public, deeds of trust on single family residence. Any person who is not a duly commissioned, qualified and acting notary public who does any of the acts prohibited by the California Code Section 8227 in relation to any document or instrument affecting Title II, placing an encumbrance on or placing an interest secured by a mortgage or deed of trust on real property consisting of a single family residence containing not more than four dwelling units is guilty of a felony. California Government Code Section 8227 provides that it is a misdemeanor for any person who is not a duly commissioned qualified and acting notary public for the state of California to do any of the following represent or hold himself or herself out to the public or to any person as being entitled to act as a notary public, assume, use, or advertise the title of notary public in such a manner as to give the impression that the person is a notary public or act as a notary public. Section 3, filing false or forged documents relating to single family residences. False statements to a notary public. Every person who files any false or forged document 
or instrument with the county recorder which affects Title II, places an encumbrance on or places an interest secured by a mortgage or deed of trust on real property consisting of a single family residence containing not more than four dwelling units with knowledge that the document is false or forged is punishable in addition to any other punishment by a fine not exceeding $75,000. Every person who makes a false sworn statement to a notary public with knowledge that the statement is false to induce the notary public to perform an improper notarial act on an instrument or document affecting Title II or place an encumbrance on real property consisting of a single family residence containing not more than four dwelling units is guilty of a felony. Section 4, Forgery, Signatures or Seals, Corruption of Records. Every person who, with the intent to defraud, counterfeits or forges the seal or handwriting of another is guilty of forgery. Every person who, with the intent to defraud, falsely makes, alters, forges, or counterfeits, utters, publishes, passes, or attempts or offers to pass as true and genuine any of the following items, knowing the same to be false, altered, forged, or counterfeited, is guilty of forgery, or falsifies the acknowledgement of any notary public, or any notary public who issues an acknowledgement, knowing it to be false, or any other matter described in the above paragraph. Forgery is punishable by imprisonment in the state prison or by imprisonment in the county jail for not more than one year. Section 5. Perjury Every person who, having taken an oath that he or she will testify, declare, depose, or certify truly before any competent tribunal, officer or person in any of the cases in which the oath may be law of the state of California be administered willfully and contrary to the oath states as true any material matter which he or she knows to be false. And every person who testifies, declares, supposes, or certifies under penalty of perjury in any of the cases in which the testimony, declarations, depositions, or certification is permitted by law of the State of California under penalty of perjury and willfully states as true any material matter which he or she knows to be false is guilty of perjury. Persons who appear before a notary public who do not tell the truth under oath or affirmation may be guilty of perjury. Applications for appointment as a notary public are executed under penalty of perjury. 
misrepresentations or omissions in the application may be perjury. Perjury is punishable by imprisonment in the state prison for two, three, or four years. Section 6, Conviction. If a notary public is convicted of a crime related to notarial misconduct, including the false completion of a notarial certificate, or of any felony, the court must revoke the notary public's commission and require the notary public to surrender his or her notary public seal to the court to be forwarded to the California Secretary of State with a certified copy of the judgment of conviction. Section 2, Destruction, Defacement, or Concealment of Records or Papers. Any person who knowingly destroys, defaces, or conceals any records or papers belonging to a notary public is guilty of a misdemeanor and is liable in a civil action for damages to any person injured as a result of the destruction, defacing, or concealment. Section 3, Improper Notorial Acts, Solicitation, Coercion, or Influence of Performance. Any person who solicits, coerces, or in any manner influences a notary public to perform an improper notorial act, knowing that act to be an improper notorial act, including any act relating to maintaining the official journal, shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. Violations of this section include, but are not limited to, coercing or influencing notary public to complete a false certificate of acknowledgement or jurat, to not enter required information in the official journal, to enter false information in the official journal, and to falsely modify a journal entry. Section 4, Willful Failure to Perform Duty Relating to Official Journal or Control Notorial Seal. Any notary public who willfully fails to perform any duty required of a notary public relating to an official journal or who willfully fails to keep the seal of the notary public under direct and exclusive control of the notary public or who surrenders the seal of the notary public to any person not otherwise authorized by law to possess the seal of the notary public shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. Violations of this section include but are not limited to willful failure to maintain the official journal, willful failure to notify the California Secretary of State within the time required by law if the official journal is lost, stolen, rendered unusable, or surrendered to a peace officer. Willful failure to permit a lawful inspection or copying of the official journal. Willful failure to keep the seal under direct and exclusive control. And surrendering the official journal to any person not authorized to possess it. Section 5, False Certificate or Writing by Officer. Every officer, including notaries public, authorized by law to make or give any certificate or other writing is guilty of a misdemeanor 
If the officer makes and delivers as true any certificate or writing containing statements which the officer knows to be false. Section 6, Unlawful Practice of Law Any person practicing law who is not an active member of the state bar or otherwise authorized pursuant to statute or court rule to practice law in this state at the time of doing so is guilty of a misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in the county jail or by a fine of up to $1,000, or by both fine and imprisonment. Try that again. Part G, infractions by notaries public. Both of these possible infractions require that the notary public willfully or deliberately fail to perform an action required by law. This is different from failing to perform an action through negligence. Section 1, change of address. Willful failure to notify the California Secretary of State of a change of principal place of business address or residence address is punishable as an infraction by a fine of up to $500. Section 2, name change. Willful failure to notify the California Secretary of State of a name change is punishable as an infraction by a fine of up to $500. Congratulations, you have now completed the course itself. This concludes your training. If you wish to obtain a certificate for the state exam, please follow the, the instructions in your workbook and submit the items necessary to rose at srnotarysolutions.com. Answer sheet to the exam, your timesheet, copy of legible ID, and your evaluation of our course. We thank you for choosing SNR Notary Solutions and please do not hesitate to reach out should you have any questions in the future. Our next course from this point on will be the Notary Loan Signing Agent course and that is a nationwide course and we encourage you to take that. We will also, through that course, explain to you how and the expectations of a loan signing agent and how to start your business. We thank you and have a good day.